last week on Life's a Drag. This morning I have a brunch in downtown Boston. A show with Jonathan on Tuesday. What? You should come. Me, I'm there. Karen, Judy, Laura. Judy, Jonathan, how do you feel about my sister Judy? Well, I'm not gonna lie. I'm so tonight is my birthday, you know, the big 25. I'm performing at Legacy for the first time for the midnight show, and I'm so excited. All my friends are coming. Like, I just felt so loved and, like, special in that moment for my birthday for, like, the first time ever, I feel like. Everyone, are you ready for the birthday queen, Shakira Nicolosi? So I'm performing at a brand new night called Temptation Tuesday at this club called Han in Boston. And I invited some of the girls to watch the performance, support, you know, like give the vibe. Maybe they'll book them later. Like, you know, it's a great way to network. We gotta talk, because I sat down with Iris and girl. What happened? Yeah. I took my performance. What did you think? Corey tells me he has something to tell me. And I'm super nervous because I have been drinking a lot that night and I'm just kind of confused on like what is about to happen. But, but, but my thing is like, oh, what, what did you have to too. say? What did you have to say though? Oh, I'm not Cause she's right, she's right there baby. I knew there was a little bit of like cattiness going around. We were going to be giving drag queens makeovers and I know that you're not that good at makeup so we thought we were going to give you some tips. That's what Iris said. <laughs> Absolutely, baby. But baby, my thing is that when you're, you could be stamped as you want, but when you don't have your own show, then you can't talk. <laughs> now we're sitting in front of the group and Corey all of a sudden remembers what she has to say. I kind of feel betrayed by my sister. I'm like, now that we're in a group, you have something to say. But look what you came in today. Drag? Well, at least it's better than yours. I don't have jeans and drag. Don't come out in jeans and drag, my love, because whatever you can find at Rainbow or Charlotte Ruse or Steel should not be in the stage. So, you told me last week <laughs> at Lens that you called her a racist for not booking you. Me? Yes. me last week <laughs> at Lens that you called her a racist for not booking you. Me? Yes. I haven't called seen her what? I called her a racist. I haven't seen her. Oh. Is that just what she told me? For Shakira to be relevant in conversation, she has to bring up another drag queen. My love. Who are you? I had said that was a racist for not booking me. That is not true. We cleared the air. It was a misunderstanding. Me and you are good. And I did not say those things. I am not depending on a booking from somebody else to get through. And I wouldn't throw them under the bus for that. I have plenty of bookings. No, I can't recall. I, I could defend myself if she would have brought it up to me and remember right. when I said it. But. No. That's if she just brought up a gang last week to me. That's all that, that's the way that. <laughs> that I called her racist. For not booking her. Yeah. No, I haven't seen her. I'm okay with not being booked at Blend. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> that's no. a that's really all. I want to be booked at Blend. That's the dream Cheers. Cheers to want to be booked at Blend. Yes. Oh, I already am. But Cheers. Right. I've been booked at Blend many times. And are you booked anymore? No. Oh. I'm not. <laughs> she can't why? Are you booked at No, no, no. I, I, no shade, baby. No shade, baby. No shade, baby. No shade, baby. No, this is no tea, no shade. I was just asking Shakira. Little Miss Twinkening Shakira is bringing up these allegations, which I don't believe to be true. I just don't think they want to book Iris. That's my opinion. I don't know. But now they're bringing it up, and I'm just sitting here, legs crossed, enjoying. In all honesty, what was you shushing about when I went up there, though? Okay. I literally don't know. Okay, I would just ask With you. who? Iris. Do you think that this girl talks about you? Who, Stefania? Yeah. I mean, I would see why. <laughs> 
You think I talk about you? <laughs> I mean, I would see. Come on. No, but Come I would on. see why, though, There's baby. There's only so much time in a day. <laughs> I don't fucking yeah. waste my time talking But I would you. see why, though, baby. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the only thing you have on me? Like, yeah, it just... Right over. Right over the head. You know what? This was a waste of my time anyways. Y'all can have fun with each other. We sure will, baby. We will. Everybody here decided to come for me. Yeah, I did it. Call your Uber. Dolly, I love you. Right, have fun at Bingo, baby. Call your Uber, I love bitch. those boots. Dear audience, and that's what's called stirring the motherfucking pot. No, it was literally like a setup. I set the whole thing up. Obviously, I wanted Gigi and Corey to go off on each other, and it worked. The B, the bitch, is leaving. Stop that floor, mama. Stop that floor, mama. Just like your shoes, Corey? Uh, Just yeah, like your yeah. shoes, Tom? Like, like your shoes, Tom? Like your These are not sketches. These are Doc Martens. Thank you. The onion rings. Sure. Thank you. Then I'm time. going to get the BLT chicken wrap. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, baby. <laughs> How is Miami, baby? How is Florida? Miami was fierce. Miami was cute. I, you know, visited my dad. He lives there now. Mm -hmm. And I also visited my girls, my Miami FKA family. FKA twink. Yeah, I love FKA. She's Morphine. Morphine. Juicy. That's you see there. Oh my god, you saw all the girls. I did, I did see all the girls. Well, they saw me. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I gave shows there. So. Period. Yeah, it was cute. It was a cute time. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, how was Boston while I was away, baby? The same old, you know. The same, okay. The girls were fighting while you were away, actually. I did hear, mm -hmm. I did hear the girls were fighting. It was what, actually crazy. What was all the drama about? What were they fighting about? Um... Iris um, was just kind of going off, and so was Gigi. And Gigi started fighting with Corey, and it was like a whole thing. What what was the argument about? Gigi and Corey were fighting, which is like best friends. Yeah, sounds very interesting. And I called Iris out for saying that, because she called racist for not booking her. Mm. She's like, I don't remember that. I feel like I've always really respected Shakaren because I think she's one of the girls who can really beat her face correctly. And she's very detail-oriented like me, and she wants to continue to improve her drag, and that's an important quality in an artist and a drag queen. So, you know, I just instantly felt that bond when I met Shakaren in person, and I knew that this was maybe a relationship that I wanted to pursue and see where it would go. That's, that's unfortunate, you know, I really like to see the community come together mm -hmm. as sisters and not fight and argue. I was just so. minding my own business, looking cute right? And stunning. Okay, and so you didn't, you didn't get into it with anybody? Not really, no. I don't think so. Okay. I was just watching the show. Everything was a blur, sister, you don't remember anything? I don't even remember yesterday, girl, like... Well, sister, I can tell you what happened yesterday. What happened yesterday? You were a little slut. Was I? Yes, you were. Where? Yes, you were. You went to Royale. I did. And you called me at two in the morning, saying that you were fucked up. Did I call you last night? Yes, you did. You don't remember? No. Mama, you're a mess. <laughs> you need to get your drinking under control, baby. I've been drinking since Thursday, which actually is a mess. Yeah, for sure. Sister, I agree. Hold my hand. <laughs> Drinking mm -hmm. will not solve fun. your issues, oh. baby. No, it won't. And <laughs> you need to stay strong and mm -hmm. you need to have some sober fun. Can you do that for me? Yeah. I think my drinking got a little out of control when I was maybe 20 years old. Um, I was living at home in the middle of nowhere in Maine, no car, no job. Like, So I was like drinking probably four times a week, like, bottles of wine. Like, literally. But that was definitely a hard time in my life, for sure, because I'm just alone 24-7 in the same house. It felt like literally jail. Like, you can't go anywhere, you can't do anything. Like, you're by yourself pretty much all the time. Like, it was terrible. 
Let's okay. be sober tomorrow. Let's be sober tomorrow. Well, you be sober. Okay. You know, I'll, I need a little extra, you know, performance booster because yeah. I'll be, you know, in drag. In drag and doing stunts <clears throat> that I can't physically do unless I'm yeah. under the influence. Yeah. yeah, I agree. So, yeah, and I'm excited to see the other girls as well. Mm -hmm. I know that, like, Stefania and I have like clashed weirdly in the past, but but what? <clears throat> um, that's all over now because um, I'm, you know, uh, a drag queen who, you know, gets booked regularly now, and mm -hmm. she's not really in the scene like that, so right. it's all good. But you know, in the past, I kind of feel bad because um, she was doing the competition here at Club Cafe, like the amateur competition. I went on social media after she won, mm -hmm. <laughs> like literally, got on my phone, got on like my story and was like Stefania did not deserve to win <laughs> the thing about that is it got a lot of traction but Stefania didn't even like respond I think she, her feelings just got like hurt so, so she, didn't say anything. she really didn't say anything so I kind of and honestly we really have never sorted this situation yeah. out so um, maybe you guys I... don't hang out obviously no, she's just never in the same spaces as me, which is the spaces that pay um, girls to mm -hmm. perform. And I just, I want to see her tomorrow and make sure that we just like are cool. You know, we never sort of re rehashed it or sort of smoothed, smoothed things over. So there might be some sort of tension stemming from that. You know, maybe she feels some type of way still towards me because of that, but I've I've completely moved on. I just want to make sure that me and Stefania are good now because I really don't want any sort of bad blood between me and anybody else in the scene. So, you know. I want to book you and Corey for a show okay. this week, this this coming Sunday. This Sunday? Yeah. Okay. What time is it? The show starts at 7. Oh. It's a bingo, mm -hmm. and I have Corey for it as well. Oh, okay. So I would love to join in. Um, I mean, I used to get nervous before doing a show, but again, it's like second nature now to me because I do it so often, you know, booked and busy. Um, but yeah, I love the attention, the applause, the money, the people, like, interacting with them. It's like, it's, it's nice. It's fun. As far as dating, I'm like very like celibate Susie at the moment because I'm just really focused on just like building the brand baby mm -hmm. you know making money I really don't have time to be sucking any dick and cock but no. you know who knows if we get wild enough maybe they'll catch me slipping into the abyss right you're like Hannah Montana girl no exactly but yeah I'm like not seeing anybody I was I was, oh my gosh, I'm like airing my own dirty laundry. <laughs> I was in like a two year relationship with a married man, like yes, a guy who was right. married to a woman. Mm -hmm. And then we broke it off because it turns you out he had there, a, right? he did, he did, but he also like finally told me that he had a child. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there you was- You were fine with the wife, just not the child. Well, I was fine with everything, but I think- <laughs> <laughs> I was fine with all of it. <laughs> I found it like I found it kind of hot that he had a child when I found mm -hmm. out because I was like, damn, I've been taking like daddy loads, right? Like literal daddy that loads. That made a child. That made a child. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, I think his morals just really got the best of him, and he just had to, you know, he had to stop. Drop me as the side as the side piece. Got it. Yeah, I actually I didn't know that this person had a wife um, until a little bit down the line, and a little even further down the line, I found out that he had a kid. It may have turned me on a little bit when I discovered that he had a wife and perhaps even more so when I discovered he had a child. Yeah. Are you role playing as his wife? <laughs> the thought of him being a dad and impregnating a woman and wanting to fuck me and impregnate me too. I have a question. When he, after, after he would come inside you and he left, would you pretend like you were giving birth when you were shitting out his, uh, when you were shitting out his blood? You know, when this man would um, come inside of me and then promptly make his exit back home to his wife, I would pretend that I was giving birth to his baby when I would shit his come out of my pink prolapsed hydroquinone bleached pussy. <laughs>
you know, he had to he had to go back to Saudi Arabia and be with his family. But anyways, cheers to new beginnings, baby. Cheers to new beginnings. And new friendships. Period. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So today is the day. Corey's Drag Race, I get to live my little RuPaul moment. And I'm literally so excited, so nervous, I could cry, shit my pants, everything into one is happening tonight. And honestly, like, time's ticking and I'm kinda scared, like, what if Gigi doesn't show up? I mean, I know we had that kind of, like, big argument the other night at Han, so I was kind of nervous of how she was gonna feel, or if she was even wanted to perform, so I was kind of scared, to be honest. It's the day of Corey's Drag Race and I'm still excited to go to the show. I'm gonna support my sister, and she did ask me to be a judge, so of course I'm gonna show up. I ain't gonna say, say nothing, I don't wanna. Only wanna play, play by my own rules. When I catch a vibe, vibe, that's the way I'm going. I just wanna fly, I ain't trying to be you. Watch you us. can get it at Ross, cross dress for less yourself. Period. Oh. Period. So tonight is Corey's Drag Race, and I wanna support my friends, obviously, and go to a fun show. Thank you. So I see Corey and I'm like, hey, we need to talk before the whole show starts because we just can't go on with this energy one during the show and then just two like moving forward. So I'm like, can we just blow this over? Alcohol was involved, I guess, at Han. Okay, so I first want to start by saying thank you so much for still coming yeah. after the club the other night. Um, I just wanted to get into what happened. I know it was like a little awkward, like we were drunk, things were sad, yada yada yada. I do want to apologize. I think she realized uh, like she needed to apologize. I really do want to apologize for what I said with you regarding with Iris and all that. It just threw me off guard. I was just like, my sister and I was like, oh, like, we went into this, like, together. I, I, I know, but it was just like one of those things where like, Iris was talking about you and yeah. it, it made it apparent. I was really, I'm the big person that you guys already knew that you guys both are big fans of each other. Mm -hmm. you know what and, I mean? it, and it is obvious. That's what I'm saying. And it's obvious. Exactly. It's like, I get what you're saying, and I think I want to apologize because, and I was even talking to my friend about this, I'm like, oh my god, I can't really defend myself when I'm drunk, right? Like, I can't defend my actions when I'm drunk because I said what I said, but right. like, I was so, I think, taken back and like, like, oh my god, right. so I think I got super defensive and I was like, not necessarily coming at you, but I think at the situation, because I'm like, yo, I, did, I felt like helpless at that time. I was I, like, yo, like, yeah. huh? No one else is saying anything? Yeah. Like, wait, what? And I feel like the thing is just like, <laughs> no one wants to, and it's getting old. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it was like an underground conversation, and like, it was bad that I brought it up, but I'm happy that it happened, and it was over, yeah. and I was like, it's done. And I know specifically, like, because I was intoxicated, very intoxicated, that I said things to you that I, and I texted you the next day and I was right. like, I am sorry that that happened. Right, right, right. But I also like said things to like Stefania that I like didn't mean to say and like, like what? I don't know, like I just, I, I hate when I get drunk like that because then I think I'm just this like hype, 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 hype person. Right. And then I wake up the next day and I regret it because that's not who I am. So I apologize to you and I don't know if you talked to Stefania, tell her I'm sorry. And I didn't, but it's, it's whatever. It's we're blown over. No, literally, like, we're done, it's over. Yeah. We have Corey's Drag Race. Yeah. We got some judging to do. We're just waiting for the people to arrive. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't got no nails on, but it's okay. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> And we both come to like a conclusion of like, we're literally both best friends, we are the same person. And honestly, no matter what happens, we're gonna be best friends no matter what. It was like such a dumb argument that night, like it was so like stupid. I'm like so mad we even had it. Hey girl. You look hot, hot. baby. Thank you. How do you feel? 
I see Shakarin at Corey's Drag Race, and immediately I pulled Shakarin aside because I know Shakarin knows Stefania more than I do. I tell Shakarin I want to speak with Stefania and kind of apologize because truly I didn't mean to hurt Stefania's feelings, and it was my first time meeting her, and I don't think that's a good first impression, one of me. To, you know, I guess if I was obnoxious or kept making fun of her, it's just not worth it to argue and fight and have this like weird energy. Um, so I just had a conversation yeah. with Corey. Yeah. How was that? That was good. It was about the other night. Yeah. yeah. It felt really bad, like how I was acting towards mainly everybody. Yeah. Um, you were fine towards me. Yeah. Was I? Yeah. 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 Towards me. Yeah. 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 What was I doing? They said you were fine towards me. Oh, I was like, oh, no, 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 no. I was like, what did I do to you? <laughs> no, no, you were fine towards no, me. No, yeah, I was like, I was like, I apologize because I know that I got really defensive. Point. Yeah. She kind of brought up the situation with me and Iris. And yeah, for no reason. I was intoxicated. I feel super bad about how Stefania feels. Does she still feel bad? I don't know. And I just yeah. woke up the next day and I'm kind of like, like yeah, no, because me and her don't know each other like that. Yeah. I don't ever want to give off that impression. Yeah. And I know that that's how she felt after the filming, and I'm like, fuck that. Yeah. Maybe we'll see her tonight and you can talk with her. I hope. If she's still open. You know, yeah, I'm sure she will be. I hope so. She's a really nice person, so fun, yeah. I just don't want her to write me off. Yeah. Because I know like it could be easy. Like, your first impression, you're like, I'm good. Like, we're good, <laughs> but I'm good. Right, but I'm good. And I don't, yeah. Yeah. And I don't want to do it. No, I get that. Uh, but I didn't do anything to you. No, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Not yet. No, <laughs> <laughs> no I. Ginger ale. This is my drink, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> and Gigi kind of apologizes for behavior on Tuesday, which I thought it personally was fine, as someone who likes to have a couple drinks here and there. Um, and I didn't fight with her that night either, so I had no problem with her, but she wanted to apologize for her behavior, which I understand. I've been there. Oh. What's up, Monica? You look hot. Super wise. Oh, Proud of you. So I'm coming back from the bathroom, and I look to my left, and I look to my right, and then I look in the middle, and Stefania is right there! And so I wanted to pull her aside, and I did. Hey, wait, do you mind if I talk to you outside? Yes. Alright. I mean, I guess. <laughs> Ooh. When I walk in and see Gigi, I kind of just brushed it aside and was like, okay, like, yeah, she's here. Okay, whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> um... How are you? Good. Tired. Tired? How are you? Did you get work today? I did. Yeah. She was just saying a bunch of like slanderous things towards me and just hitting below the belt. And it just, honestly, I didn't pay any mind to it. I was just like, girl. Um, so I just wanted to talk about Tuesday. Um, I feel, I think, the most bad about everybody towards you. Oh. Um, and I also feel like we don't know each other that much. We don't <clears throat> know each other well. I was super intoxicated. I didn't eat. That's no excuse. Disregard that situation. Like, I didn't eat dinner. Like, girl, you don't even do drag. Because now I'm getting defensive. I mean, look how funny she looks. Huh? The winner? The winner. She is the worst person in the entire world. 